<coughs> I'm not usable as a person when I don't have any food in my in my system. My headache is too big, and then I just I fuck up. Like shit, not really. Shit, not really. Just it's just not gonna hit. So we try to get over that fact. We try to like humor ourselves into not being hungry. It doesn't fucking work because there's no food. Look, bro, when I tell you there's no food in the fridge, there's none. There's no food. Not even is there not any food. There's really not any 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 dishes like that to be honest. So all we really got is some water from the faucet, and that's it. That's it. No, there's no food. And like I said, the closest store is a Walmart that's 20 minutes away in driving distance. There's no Uber 20 minutes away in driving distance. So we basically just got to wait. Keep in mind, we feeling like we're going to be in this position for four days. So nobody has a car. Nobody has the car because everyone Ubered out here. We assumed, or I would assume they assumed, that we was going to be closer to the city. We fucking weren't. Whatever. Let's move on. It's 7 p.m. And like I said, me and the person that I that I came there with, I, I came there assuming that, you know, it was going to be me, the girl that I, you know, the girl that I brought and my niggas and and some girls that they brought you know i didn't want her to be the only woman here because that's a little weird it feels a little awkward you know especially if they say some shit that's awkward i can't account for every little thing that my niggas might say they might say some crazy shit and now i gotta check you because now she here now you made her feel uncomfortable not saying my niggas talk like that on a regular basis but i don't know what you're capable of i ain't seen you in at least six months my nigga you've been out of state i don't know what you've been into No other women around, no balance. It was just me, her, and five niggas. She just around dicks and balls. That's it. So me and her, we go up to the big room. We go up to the big room, and I'm like, you know what? Um, I want to take a nap. Like, I'm I'm a little tired. I want to take a nap. Um, and she's sitting on the bed. She's sitting on the bed, and she's watching me sleep, basically. Um, I don't know why, but... That's what she wanted to do. That's what was cool. I'm cool. I'm laying down. She's watching me sleep. Like, maybe 30 minutes into my nap, she opens the door. I wake up, and I got, I had, like, a, little, a cool little power nap, but I, I could have got more sleep. So I was like, all right, I'll I, I wake up. She wasn't a snow bunny. Stop it. I wake up. She goes to the door. Uh, my man's comes to the door. He's like, hey, yo, we about to go uh, roam the fucking uh, the beach for a little bit. I'm like, uh, no. I'm like, how about no? How about how about we how about we don't how about we don't leave the fucking house? How about that? They're like, no, no, no. We about to go roam the beach real quick. Like, we, we already out here. We might, we might as well, like, get some views and shit like that. Like, we might as well just, you know, take some pics, take, take some flicks or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You brought your camera, you know. Um, we got the stereo. Or the, not the stereo, but the Bluetooth speaker. I'm like, yeah, that sound good and everything. But it's like, what if niggas see us? I'm not stupid. But we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. They all start going downstairs and uh, I'm like in my head, I'm like, you know, this is a bad idea. Going out there isn't a good idea, but you know what? I'm not about to be the nigga that stays inside that something happens to that niggas got to go and come back to and see me be a victim. A nigga not about to run up in this big ass fucking mansion, take my cheeks by myself and leave the body on the table on some shit. And my nigga see me. And then that's the story that they got for the, for the news. We, we, we walked outside. We, we went for a little smoke session. We came back and he was gone. He was laid out on the table with his ass out. That's not going to be the, the, the shit that they say about me. I'm not about to be the nigga that got that got that got done dirty 
by himself because he was too lazy to go with his niggas. So even though I didn't want to go, I still went. Because I'm like, they not about to catch me by myself. If there's anybody watching this, there's not. Then I'm not about to get caught by myself. It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. We go outside. We roaming for a little bit. I actually enjoyed myself. You know, we splashed a little water. It was cold as fuck. It's like I said, October. Shit, it's, it's fall. I don't know why they threw water on me, but I laughed it off. Normally, I wouldn't be in such a good mood after having no food in my system, but I had a little bit of a nap. We was cooling for a little bit. How is that prideful? It's not prideful. I'm just like, yo, I'm not about to die out here in myself. In myself. I'm not about to die by myself if some shit happened. But I go outside. We cooling. Have a good time. Mood's cool, but we still hungry as shit. We go back in the house. It's been about an hour. We spent about an hour out there. So we don't know what the fuck could have roamed in the house while we was gone. But, hey, it is what it is. We don't have a key to the place. We have the code in the front door. But if we want to go out the back, which we did, we have to leave the shit open. So if somebody was watching, they could have ran their ass in the fucking shit, stole off with all our shit, and we wouldn't have known until we got back inside. Dumbass niggas. Dumbass niggas. But at the end of the day, like I said, I was not going to be in that house by my fucking self and a nigga go in there and take my ass. And niggas come back and see me as a victim of circumstance. It's not going to be me. Whatever, we go back in. And it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Let me show y'all what I saw. Uh, Let me show y'all what I saw. Hold on, hold on. This is what I see. No, nah, this is crazy. You can't even see shit. Hold on. I might have to really make that shit bright. Hold on. This is what I saw. It looked like a painting, right? That is the lake. The moon's light is shining on the fucking lake. So bright, it looked like a fucking painting. That is outside. You can see the waves at the bottom of the shit. It looks scary as fuck. It looked kind of nice, but it looked scary as fuck at the same time. I can see it from the fucking window. It looked kind of pretty, but it also looked creepy as hell. Because the moon is shining off of the water. So it looked like the moon is coming out the water. It looked cute, but it's not. It's a it's a different creepy vibe when you're out there and all you hear is waves. It's different. So I'm like, whatever. Cool. But it's dark as fuck now. We inside. And I'm like, all right, you know, what we what we going to do? We chilling at this point. At this point, we like, yo, we just need to go back to the city, bro. At this point. And I'm in full agreement, bro. I want to get some food in me. We need we need some we need some bitches, some more bitches. I didn't tell that to the woman I was with. But we need, you know, y'all got to get y'all got to get in y'all bag and shit like that, because I'm not fucking in the six niggas that can hear me. Like, it's five niggas that can hear me. It's not, I like, I don't like that, bro. Like, we we, we can't even get into our bag because y'all niggas is here and you didn't really plan this shit out the right way. Let's go back home tomorrow, basically, is what we agreed upon. So it's like 12 midnight, and I'm like, all right, let's go back home. I'm, I'm glad that we went back home. I'm glad that we're going back home. Cool. We call a cab because there's no Uber. Bro, and I this is the first time I've ever heard of these services, too. Hold on, let me show you. We I tried Curb. There's an app called Curb that I guess picks niggas up and drops them off. It's like a it's like a knockoff Ubers or DoorDash or Ubers or, or 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 fucking Lyfts. No service. I tried this app called Flywheel. No service. I tried this app called Cabify. No service. I'm like, "Bro, we are ass I, I, we I, we actually might be stranded out here." Then I thought to myself, yo, I could call my mans. The nigga who gave me his number. I'm like, mmm, that might be the wave. That might be it. Chad, this is why you can't trust niggas, bro. I called this nigga four times. I hit voicemail every fucking time, bro. Now, granted, in his defense, they might have killed him. They might have caught him and said, yo, we got him. He might have been in the wrong place. He might be gone for all I know. So low key, I'm not mad. 
I'm actually still worried about that nigga. It's been six months, and he still hasn't returned my, my phone calls, bro. And I called him a few times in between that. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. But he did not return my calls. I didn't get a text back, nothing. I was sad. I really was. I wasn't even mad. I was like, bro, I hope he's okay. That's what I really wanted. I cannot call him now, bro. I'm not going. I think his his line, if his line is disconnected, it's confirmed. But whatever, we get a hold of a taxi company. And the taxi company is like probably maybe 40 minutes to an hour away from the property. But we like, yo, hopefully we can get these people on the line. If we can, the, the ride itself was $345 to get from there to the inner city just for the ride is crazy but we was like we don't give a fuck we we need to get out of here bro we just gotta go we gotta go so i'm like all right cool we just gonna go to sleep we wake up at nine o'clock in the morning when a taxi cab driver the, the taxi cab company said that we're gonna call when the when the driver is outside to let y'all, you know, get a chance to load your shit into the into the car, into the truck. It was like a minivan type cab cab. Um and after that, you know, well y'all speed off. You 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 I think we paid in advance or after we got dropped off. I don't remember how it worked, but uh we got we got the we ordered the we ordered the cab. We like, oh, okay, we'll you know, we might as well just, you know, go to sleep and you know, uh you know, I see y'all in the morning type shit. Have y'all ever heard? Let me see if I can show y'all the sound that I heard. Um, What is it called? The conjuring door banging scene. I don't remember like what the fuck. I, don't, I, I should not be looking at this. Oh, God, I don't like this. Uh, mm, I don't know about this. Um, let me see. It's it's a scene, bro. It's a scene in like you know, like it's a scene in the horror movies. Hold on, maybe this is it. I don't think this is it. Hold on, this isn't it. Oh no, nah. bro, I'm not watching this. What the fuck? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Never mind. I don't need. I don't need. To, I don't need to give you the example, bro. Just know that when I when I heard this sound, bro, that's a Gucci belt. Wait, what you talking about? When I heard this sound, you know how a nigga knock on your door like this was. It was three times extremely fast. It was three times extremely fast, and I'm like. Bro, I have never almost shat in my life more than in th more than in this moment. I've never almost shat in my life more than in this moment. I turned around so fast, I dropped my phone. We all stared at the front door. I'm like, yo. I didn't say nothing because I don't know who the fuck is there. Right? I didn't say nothing because I didn't know who the fuck was there. I'm like... Nigga, nobody should know. Like, even if somebody knows that we're here, nobody knows anything. Like, what the fuck? What What do we... We First of all, don't answer the fucking door. There's nothing for us to say. Like, we cool. The front light was on. So there's a light on the porch that beams out onto the lawn. The lawn is big as fuck. And beyond the lawn is nothing but trees. So if you did see a nigga, you told him, get he can run out into the woods and still be in the woods just waiting and watching for you to get out. No safety at all. But we saw the nigga, right? It was the same nigga who stopped me in the fucking whip with my driver hours before that. Same nigga. Same nigga. Bro. This nigga had on jeans. 
He had on jeans and a tank top. In front of the light, nigga took off his belt. Took his belt and put it like this. Start doing this shit. Like dry humping the fucking air. I'm like, uh, I'm looking. Not that I'm getting enticed. You niggas are weird. But I'm looking because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What he doing? Me and my niggas all got to look at this shit. We don't got to, but we need to. Nigga pulled down his pants and put his hand in his, put his dick in his hand. No, I didn't twist his dick. He, he took his hand, put it on his dick, and the nigga just start going. I don't know if he knocked on the door because he wanted an audience. If y'all think I'm lying, I literally told you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. I literally told y'all when this happened. I put a little Easter egg in one of my videos. It was this one. Exposure. 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 Now, nah, watching my own ad is crazy. Introducing on, the on. Ungun, the non lethal self defense platform. Your hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Niggas about to ask where I was. Oh, this Nike tech is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I need to wear this tech more. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I said it in here. I said it in here. What did I say? What, what, what did I say? When did I say it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm excited, bro. Um, I know a lot of you think I hate Travis Scott. And... Me, I think it's been keeping my heart, so I'm, I'm not opposed to Travis Scott. Yeah, I got shot tomorrow. This so, it, 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 it was like a hard situation. Yeah, we had to be like, five of us. We got to do a do for you. He got shot. He was doing me. I said, I literally told y'all. If you hear it right now, I literally told y'all this back in November. I told you this back in November. He had his dick in his hand. He was beating his meat. I literally said that. I have to watch the videos before I upload them, you, f you dumb fuck. Why wouldn't I know what the fuck I said? I literally told y'all. I was not lying. I literally said this. This shit traumatized me, bro. Shit traumatized me. I'm not gonna lie. Shit, shit had me, it had me spooked. It had me spooked. I was, I was a different nigga out here after that. So, just to let y'all know, this isn't the first time you're hearing this story. This isn't the first time you're hearing this. Whatever. And I, I, I said it because I needed somebody to say it to. I definitely... Okay, bro. You niggas, bro. Whatever. Okay. We almost done. So this nigga's beating his meat in front. And we like, okay, so maybe you're not racist. He's just a pervert. But I'm like, not a girl that I'm with. She looks spooked. She don't look like... she Like, we laughing at it low-key, but she honestly looked like kind of petrified. So we're like, all right. Um, you know, you go in the room, lock the door. Like if anything happened, I will tell you. She didn't want to go be by herself. So she kind of stayed around, but she just hung back a little bit. So now I'm like having to stay away and I can't watch the dude jerk his dick and, and laugh with my niggas. Cause now I'm not, I need to, you know, I need to make sure that she all right. Cause that's a weird, you know, at the end of the day, even though it's funny, it's weird. So I'm over here. I'm over here on her. He's still in the front, mind you. I hear it again. The nigga is still in front of the house. Jack and Dick in front of the light. So I'm like, who the fuck is that? I checked the back door. I checked the back door. Bro, I have never been this scared in my life. I checked the back door. All I see is a black silhouette. All I see is a black silhouette. And my heart, bro, oh my God. My heart was done. My shit was on 7,000 beats per second. I'm like, yo, get the strap. We got to go. Niggas is on us. It's over. And in my head, I'm like, oh, no, this is bad. 
this is really bad. I can see his silhouette. The way the downstairs light is built, you can legitimately see inside the house. Cause we didn't close the windows. We didn't we didn't like lock up the like close up the fucking windows or the blinds or whatever the fuck. So you can still see on the inside from the outside. So when I walked down and I saw him and I saw the silhouette, bro, y'all don't have, you don't understand, bro. Like I saw, oh my god, bro, that that shit legit just like it just makes me feel bad, bro. It for real makes me feel bad because all I saw was the black silhouette and that shit stayed with me, dude. Nah, y'all putting the emote is crazy. Y'all putting the emote is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all putting the emote is insane. No, you don't understand how scary it is just seeing a black silhouette. Just a black silhouette. You can't identify or see a face or anything. Just all black clothing and a black silhouette, and that's it. And so when I went down, I saw, I knew that he saw me. So I'm like, do I stand here and pretend that I'm not being looked at right now? When I walked down there, he was just standing. He was just standing there and he was facing the window. I'm like, bro, I'm done. I'm, it's, it's over. I'm like, it's over. He sees me. If he has to come in the house, he's getting me first. I turned back around and I ran back up. I'm like, yo, y'all didn't hear that? I'm like, you niggas didn't hear that? They heard it. My one nigga already had his shit in his hand. My one nigga already was ready. He got his shit in his hand. I'm like, all right, good. Good shit. Two of my mans got their shit. My other nigga got his shit. He gives me some shit. I'm like, all right, we good. I see anything, I'm bussing. I didn't want to do that, though. And the reason I didn't want to do that is because we are black in an area that we don't know anything about. There's nothing but mom and pop shops around here. If these niggas are known in the area, these cops could easily make us disappear. I don't want to have to do this because even if we win, we could still lose. That was my thought process. So I'm like, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Of course. Of course. You don't go to a foreign land and not and not bring your shit. But I'm thinking to myself, you know what? We could legit be fucked. Even if we win, we could still be fucked. So I'm like, we don't want to kill. Uh, we don't want to do anything. Bro, I went back downstairs with with with, with my with my with my man shit in my hand. I went back downstairs. It was, it was only 30 seconds that I was gone. I went back downstairs and the nigga was gone. At this point, at this point, I'm like, he's in the house. At this point, I'm like, this nigga's in the house. I've never sweat so much and so hard in my life. Like my, 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 my adrenaline pumping, like the, the fact that it was complete silence and the loud, like the only noise that was coming was my fucking heartbeat and the sweat dripping from down my fucking face, bro. I'm like, what is it? What do they call him? Um, Metal Gear Solid when he's when he creeping around and shit. I walk back. I walk back. And everything seems fine. Everything seems fine. I turn. Bro, I I I, I actually no no for like on some oh, 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 no funny shit on 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 oh, no funny shit no funny shit. I might legit like need to go to counseling for this next part, cause what I saw, bro, fucked me up. It did. It fucked me up for a cool little minute, bro. Like, dude, it just it it's not it's not even funny to be honest with you, cause like, what what I did in response, it really it really let me know. It could really be over in a second. It could really be over in a second. 
I walk downstairs where where the nigga was, and I start looking through. There's a pool table. There's another little TV on the side. There's a bathroom in the back, but that's all there is. So you go back there. Only thing that's on this side is going to be a window, and that window is a sliding door. Now, I'm not dumb enough to open the fucking sliding door to see if the nigga hiding behind the brick. I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But I I go up to the window. I go up to the window. And I'm like, "Okay, I don't see him. I don't see nothing." I think I had a heart attack in that moment. I do. I think I had a heart attack in that moment. Still being a black silhouette, the nigga was, the nigga turned the corner. He was behind the brick on the side that I couldn't see. And so I'm standing literally two and a half feet from the window. He turns from the brick that I can't see around and faces the fucking outside of the window. I'm here and he's legit two, two, three feet away on the other side of the window. And he, bro, it's like the transition from the way he turned and showed up in front of me. I was like, no, but when he did it, bro, when he did it and I didn't expect it, my heart, bro, it, 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 it I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know how to. My, I felt like I felt hollow. I felt hollow, like my 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 soul left my body type shit. If if that's if that's what the fuck was happening, he turned and he faced me, and he was still completely black. No racial. He was still completely black. Whole silhouette, and I'm like, bro, I'm about to. I... Oh, I jumped so fucking hard. It's not even funny, bro. I jumped so hard, it's not even funny. I jumped so hard, it's not funny, bro. Like, <laughs> you know when a nigga, like, try to, he, like, pretend to punch you, and you, like, oh, two for flinching? I think I jumped out of my skin. I jumped out of my skin. I had to have. I didn't make any noise. I, that's not in me. I, 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 I will never scream or make any noise. But, I, like, there's some Tom and Jerry animation for the shit that happened to me in that moment, bro. And I literally, like, if I had skin, I have skin. But if I had a body inside my skin, I do have a body in my skin, bro. I'm still traumatized. If I had, if I was able to jump out of my skin and survive, that's what happened in that moment. I jumped out of my skin and I left so fucking fast, bro. And I went to the stairs, assuming that the nigga was chasing me, even though he couldn't get inside. And I look back, he's still standing there, bro. He's still standing there, bro. And at this point, I'm like, bro, if he keeps standing right there, if he if he here by the time I bring my nigga back, if he here by the time I bring my nigga back, bro, I'm going to have to just start busting through the window. I'm not about to just, I'm not, I cannot let him get the first, I don't know what he got because he's completely blacked out. <laughs> I think it said Tory Lanez with a shot. I'm like, dog, this is bad. This is bad. So I go upstairs, the nigga in the front, he's still jacking his dick. So at this point, I'm like, they got to be in cahoots. The nigga in the front got to know the nigga in the back. But my mans don't even know that the nigga in the back is a thing yet. I'm still petrified. I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, how do I explain to niggas that it's a black nigga back there without saying it's a black nigga back there? I'm not going to lie. I don't blame the nigga in the front for, for jacking his dick for as long as he was. Because in all honesty, bro, having no material and just jacking your dick out in the cold in fucking October, you going to need some time if you're trying to finish. I don't know if that's what he was trying to do, but, like, I'm not I'm not really worried about the dude in the front so much because at the end of the day, like, the only threat that he runs is getting frostbitten because it gets colder progressively as the night goes on. So if you want to do some shit like that, that's on you, my boy. Um... As long as you don't come in the house, like, I ain't going to tell on you. But, like, something about this house in the wood, I guess, is turning you on. You can't, li you literally can't see nobody. Why you chose this house to jack your dick in front of, I don't know. But that's what he decided to do. And that's him. But I'm thinking at this point, he got to be a distraction. 
so the other nigga can get inside. I hear the same knock again. Doom, 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 doom. And at this point, I'm actually mad. I'm no longer scared. I'm still scared. Don't get me wrong. Let me let me take let me take that back. I'm still scared. I'm scared as shit still. But I'm mad now too. I have two emotions going at the same time. So me and my niggas, we go to the door that we heard it from. And we like, you know what? We just about to rush this nigga. We about to rush this nigga. So we walk outside. We go to the door. There's there's so many entrances to this house, too, that, that makes it even worse. So we like, we need, a, we need to have a nigga posted at each place. But we not stupid either. I'm like, but I'm not about to I'm not about to tell my niggas to split up and you watch this and you watch this door, you watch this door, you wa- No! It's gonna be all six of us and we're gonna rush this nigga at the same time. Nobody's splitting up. We're not doing that. Nobody's dying on my birthday, bro. This is not happening. But in, in, still two of us ended up going to we still two of us ended up going right to the one door. We cool or whatever. We go to the one door. We're like, yo, we about to open this shit. We just, we just about to blast this nigga, bro. That's what we thinking. As soon as we about to open the door and turn the knob, I guess he saw the, the gleam. He saw the gleam off the gun. The gleam off the... So, like, it was enough light from the moon or whatever, I guess, to shine into the area that we were about to open up into for him to see the gleam. And you could see the shit, like, beaming off of the gun into the fucking window. And so off of that, he knew, oh, they about, to, they about to bust my shit. So we heard him. Immediately after that, we heard him start running. We heard him start running. And we like, okay, don't go outside now. Because he's go, he, he, he about to take off. He start running. Man's in front. We go back outside. Well, we didn't go back outside, but we go back to the front. Man's up front. He pulls his pants up. He just goes. So I'm like. I'm like, okay, they must have tried to rob us or something like that. And it was like a one-off type thing. Oh, my God, bro. You want to know how much that shit fucked me up, bro? Why would I pause? What you mean? (laughs) You don't want these ass sub? No, I'm I'm playing. Uh, My bad. Um, But uh, so we, we, we go back upstairs. At this point, me and my niggas are like huddled up. We huddled up because we like, yo, if they really want to get in here, they really just going to break the fuck in. We going to have to, like, do what we got to do. And I really don't want to do that because at the end of the day, I know police is not going to be on our side. They're not going to be on our side if some shit really got to go down. Luckily, they don't come back. But this is how I'm going to tell y'all what happened to me fucked me up. And I should have actually went to counseling for it, to be honest with you, because it really did fuck me up for a, a cool little minute. Um, I went to sleep after they left and we secured the perimeter. We secured the area. Nothing else was happening. I didn't go to sleep, but I fell asleep. I fell asleep. We were supposed to stay up until our cab came, but I ended up falling asleep because everybody else was they was on watch. They was on watch. I had already gave my man's back his shit. I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, if you need me to get a post, wake me up, you know, put my shit on. I'm like, but I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep. (sighs) I wake up. And it's still night. Bro, this this might be the scariest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I woke up and it's still nighttime. And I call out and nobody answers me. I called out and nobody answered me, bro. And you know how when you know that you in a dream... You know when you in a dream because you know some shit like not right, some shit just not right. I could already tell by the way I got up that this wasn't real. 
I was like, this isn't real. And so when I got up, I knew that I was dreaming. But it's one of those dreams where that you have where it's like, you know that you're about to get jump scared in your dream and you don't know where it's about to where it's about to come from. And this is what was fucking annoying me because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is about to happen. I just know my mind is about to do some 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 crazy shit to me. And I don't know if, I, if I'm going to be able to take it. I go downstairs and my like my brain is so fucking highly functional that literally every little minute detail of the place that we've been in is already in my brain. I'm walking through and there's nothing but like darkness, but I can still see silhouettes. And y'all know what the fuck I told you about that nigga standing out the window. Oh my God, just talking about that shit is easily, this is easily the worst. It's like top two worst dreams I've ever had in my entire life. No, no, no. This all wasn't a dream, but when I fell asleep and I woke up, um, I woke up and I woke up dreaming. And this was based off the fuck of the the the, the nigga standing out fucking side and I only and me only seeing a silhouette. That that fucked me up that bad that I immediately next time I, I fell asleep had a dream about it. I woke up in this shit and I'm like Yo. I just started speaking and nobody's talking back to me. Oh my god, bro. I walked down I walked downstairs. I go downstairs, I'm standing in the middle, and for some reason, my body stops. My body stops. I'm standing in the middle, and my body completely stops. I'm like, why did I stop here? I'm so vulnerable, and my back is turned. Why did I stop here? Oh, my God. Bro, I still got goosebumps, bro. I still got goosebumps. I still got goosebumps. I heard. Oh, I'm about to. This is what I heard. Running up behind me. In my dream. I, I know I'm dreaming at this point, but I hear this shit running up behind me, bro. And I'm like, fuck! I'm about to get jump scared. And you know, in your dream, you can't feel the way that you feel in real life. So when somebody touches you in your dream, you feel pressure. You don't feel actual, like, touch. You just feel like a heaviness. So I I hear the footsteps running up behind me and they stop. I turn my body, nothing's there. I turn my body, nothing's there. I turn back around and it's the silhouette nigga. And I don't know why I turn back around and it's the silhouette nigga. He's right in front of me. And not like nothing happened, but his presence like made my body shut down in the moment. Nothing happened, but his presence made my body shut down in the moment. Me turning around and seeing him sent a shudder throughout my body, bro. It sent a shudder throughout my body. And I woke, like, when I woke up, I think, for what my mans told me, I was screaming. Well, I wasn't screaming. But my mans told me I, I yelled. I was yelling in my in my sleep. And he had to, like, shake me to wake me up. Like, yo, yo, yo. I was like, uh... I got up. You know how you get up just kind of like winded? My man, you be having my dick throbbing. Look. Anyway, he um he told me I was yelling in my dream and I woke up and uh it was it was daytime and I was actually happy. 
I was happy, but I was almost dead silent the whole ride back to uh, I almost said the city that we went back to. I can't say that, but I was almost dead silent the whole way back. And they they saw they saw that I wasn't like in the happiest of spirits. We ended up going back to a, to a hotel. Um, that was in the city, but me being in the city made me feel way safer. Um, I was with you know my niggas. I felt pre- like I li- like no for real on God. On God, I literally felt like, like I I, I could have cried, I could have cried. That 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 that, that 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 legit like fucked me up paranoia wise for a little like a cool little three four weeks, almost five weeks. And my my nephew, bro, I love him to death. I love him to death. I love my nephew to death. When he runs, he makes the same noise that. He makes the same noise. Cute as a button. Love him to death. Every time I hear him run. Immediate. He got to go. It's crazy. No, my nephew actually makes me feel so much better about a lot of things, a lot of shitty things that have happened to me. Because I'm like, you are you are a way for me to look at those things and see the good because you're like the you're, you're, you're those things personified into a good little body. And I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see my nephew, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? When is this? Hold on. 421. Hold on. Every time I see my mans. Every time I see my mans. My little my little mans. Where the fuck is he? Oh, here we go. Every time I see my little mans. Every time I see my little mans. Every time I see my little mans. I love my little mans. He love me too. Every time I see my little mans, but I be hearing that pitter pattering. I be hearing that pitter pattering, and it be giving me that that same little bit of anxiety. It do. Be giving me that same little bit of anxiety, but I know it's coming from a little body. I know it's coming from a little body, but he he, he make it go away. He made it go away. He helped me. He helped me get away. Uh, get over it. But that that, that was it. Fucked me up. That fucked me up for a cool little minute. I got a lot of videos of my nephew. We be vibing. We low key be vibing. And sometimes he be annoying the shit out of me, bro. Like this shit. Like nigga just spitting for no reason. Hold on. Hold on. He too light. He too light. Hold on. I'm about to just see a baby being bad. Just spitting for no reason, bro. Just for nothing. He just spits. Like this man is a menace for no reason. But yeah, we went back. We went back. How is <laughs> you said ill child abuse? <laughs> we went back and um uh went to the hotel. Uh you know, I was I wasn't choking. <laughs> I wasn't choking you. Uh 
I went back. Imagine bullying a baby. <laughs> I went back and uh, yeah, you know, I started, you know, telling her about what I was experiencing, telling her, you know, how I was feeling and shit like that. And I'm not gonna lie, she fucked the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how she thought that would help. It didn't. But, you know, it definitely took my mind off things for for the moment. We had a big ass jacuzzi in the hotel. Me and her got a room and the uh my my, my, my man's they got a other shit, you know what I mean? I got pegged, yeah, I got pegged, bro. I got pegged hard as fuck. She opened me up to some new things, bro. I definitely was on some new shit after that encounter. But yeah, like that was a good that was a good experience, bro. We survived. Um we'll never do no shit like that again. Uh, I told my niggas next time, you know, we going to go we all going we we never going to do no shit where y'all going to surprise me with a location and I not know what the fuck is going on before we get out there. I was moaning. Bro, I be screaming. I don't know why y'all act like moaning and shit during fucking sessions and shit like that is weird, but it's not. Like, I'll be, I'll let a scream out. I'll yodel. I will yodel. I will yodel and fucking yelp and yell. Especially when you don't, like, there's everybody, oh, we grown now and shit like that. Like, ain't no need to be quiet. That's y'all problem, Ruby. Like, that's y'all problem. Y'all be too scared to, like, let it all out. Y'all got to let it out. I remember when I was, like, when I really first started getting my foot out here into the fucking industry. And I was like, yo. Like, I could tell you want to let out the biggest yelp. And you're not doing it for some odd reason. I could see it in your face. I could feel it. And you you sitting up here like, like, I can't. Bro, like, if you let it out right now, your face don't have to look all contorted like that. But. Hey, it is what it is. I be wanting to, y'all. Dachi, you are a New York nigga. By default, you're already screaming. You already screaming by default. So that's your lowest setting already. So I don't even know what I don't even know why you even want to like hide it. Like bitches from New York already be on some like <laughs> So you you be alright. What's that? What's that bird that be yelling? Oh, oh, oh. That's all you gotta do, bro. That's you. But that was the story, chat. Um, I got traumatized. Shit could have been way worse. Shit could have been way worse. But we survived and we made it back home. You know. But I will never forget that dream, and I will never forget what I saw. A lot of shit happened, bro. A lot of shit happened.